it's, it's a realization of who we are. It isn't me creating who I am. It's me accepting who I am. So, yeah, it's an acceptance of who he says I am. So, you know, I, I love the Psalm 139. You know, you're fearfully and wonderfully made. But it goes on, you know, how vast is the sum of the thoughts I have for you? And that's what I feel that I began to discover, his thoughts, which I, I accepted. I agreed with, which is, you know, the whole metanoia, the renewing of the mind, the metanoia. You know, it's not being sorry for what I wasn't in terms of that Latin understanding <clears throat> wrongly about repentance, but actually it's agreeing with his mind, <clears throat> agreeing with who he says I am, which then brings about the reality of that. Because if I resist who he says I am, then I'm not ever going to fulfill that. So the more close I got to him, the easier it was to hear his thoughts about me and him revealing my identity, which then brought about the manifestation of that re realization. So was I always that person from his perspective? Yes. Was I that person from my perspective? Very clearly, no. And from other people's perspective, probably not no either so then the change takes place when you listen to a thought that he has about you it produces change when you come into agreement with it so that's the power of agreement is really really strong which is what metanoia is with mind with his mind i agree with his mind i agree with his thoughts I accept his thoughts, which then brings about transformation that I actually become who he says I am because I allow the process to take place. Um, whereas I don't know anything that has self in it has a tendency from psychological things to be, well, this is something I'm doing myself. So I am producing my identity from my own thoughts, whereas what I see God doing is revealing his thoughts. So my thoughts can be like his thoughts. Then I will come into agreement and realize who I am. It's a wonderful realization that God thinks so much better about you than you do. And everyone else does, you know? And so when you realize that and accept it, you don't have to prove it to anyone or even trying to, you know, do anything to bring about that realization. You just have to learn to be, you know, so it takes all the strain out of life because you can just well this is who i am i'm just going to enjoy me you know in my relationship with god you know i'm and i'm gonna rejoice in it and be thankful and grateful for who he made me to be i'm not going to compare myself with anyone else either you know because that's the temptation when you're looking who am i you look at other people to see well am i like them or am i like them or am i like them well no you're like you because you're uniquely wonderfully made there's no one else like each of us so when we discover that reality we, it frees us from any comparison with anybody yeah which is wonderful really because it's a liberation um, of yeah all of that trying to do it ourselves if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much